So now when you talk about the L'Hopital rule, basically, now L'Hopital rule is actually a way to evaluate the limits. You can clearly see here. Now, when, you, when your particular expression is of the form, um, let's say I'm finding out the value of limit x tending to zero when the function is sine x over x. Now, if I'm finding out the expression, lim the limit value expression um, in the form zero by zero or infinity by infinity format. So when the functions are the zero by zero, so if I, if I plug x as zero, you can see that the function is sine zero, that's nothing but zero, or zero, that's also zero. So if the functions are the format zero by zero, what you can do is you can, you can to find the expression for the limit, you can keep differentiating numerator and denominator till you get the finite answer. Now, for example, I will definitely keep numerator as one function. Like you can see the numerator as other one function, the denominator as other function. So the limit of this expression is same as the limit of the individual derivatives in numerator and denominator. So this is what is L'Hopital rule. And you can keep going. I can say, okay, if this is again coming in zero by zero format, then I, I would like to do one more time. So let's say I would like to do F dash X or FX, uh, F double dash X or G double dash X and so on. So now let's just take two examples that are given in the mind map. So first example is that I wanted to find out the limit extending to a one X Q plus X squared minus two over three x squared minus two x minus one. So when you want to find this value, now basically, uh, um, now you take x tending to one. If I plug x as one here, so it is one plus one minus two over three minus two minus one. So firstly, you got to check before you do the L'Hopital rule. So that comes to be one plus one minus two, that's a zero over zero. Now, since it is of that format, I can apply the L'Hopital rule, which is same as differentiating the numerator and denominator separately. Please do not take the quotient rule here. The quotient rule doesn't work. So like what I do is basically, uh, the derivative of, of numerator is x cubed derivative is three x squared. The derivative denominator is two x minus zero. Over, if you take here, I get six x minus two. So if I now look at, plugging the x values. Now, if I take, okay, so if I take x as one, so that's three plus two over six minus two. Uh, so that's limit extending to one. And if you find this out, obviously this value is nothing but five or four. So this is giving me a finite answer. So my L'Hopital rule just got uh, me the answer within one step. Now there are some examples like where we got here, let's say limit extending to uh, infinity x squared over e to the power x, which is going to be, if I take the derivative, if I plug x as infinity here, so it is going to be infinity square over e to the power infinity, which is obviously infinity or infinity format. Now, since we got this format true, now this L'Hopital will only applies where you got zero by zero or infinity by infinity. So we got to do the derivative now. So we, if you differentiate the the expression in the numerator, what we get is 2x, and the expression in denominator is e to the power x itself. Now, once again, I plug in, I notice that my expression is still in that format, infinity or infinity, because two times infinity is infinity, and e to the power infinity is infinity. Now, if I do one more time the derivative, which is nothing but if I take x tending to infinity, if I find out the value of the derivative here, it is 2, and e raised to x. Now, when I plug now x is infinity, I get obviously the denominator is two over e to the power infinity and anything over infinity is zero. So this answer actually is coming to zero. So this is where you can, you can see that you are, you're applying the derivative at least two times in order to get the answer. So there might be cases where you might have to apply more than two times. You might have to apply three times for eight mark question. So let's just do one example that has got to do or uh, that, that that is like applying the derivative to some complex questions using L'Hopital rule. 